So you've created your skeleton, you've checked all the rotations, they're all fine. They'll move exactly how you want them to. Now we need to get the mesh to move with the skeleton. So there are various options available to you to do this. So we're just going to select the root joint, select the mesh, and we're going to go to skin, bind skin, smooth bind, and open the options. Just reset these. So again, in Maya 2013, in the recent extension uh, updates, there's a new bind method called heat map. If I, if I set that, now this calculates the fall off from each joint to each vertex sort of differently to the traditional ways. It does take a little bit longer, but it gives a much nicer um, result. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate this, but then I'll go back to the classic way for those people who aren't using the most up-to-date version of Maya. So basically, we just set that to heat map. We want to select, bind it to the joint hierarchy because we've only selected the root joint. We could set it to selected joints. I'm going to change maximum influences to maybe two for now, just so we can uh, restrict how many joints influence each vertex. And the drop off rate, I'm going to set that to 10, which just keeps the influence closer to the joints. So I'm going to click apply, it'll come up with some sort of warning, but then we'll, uh, we'll just demonstrate uh, the result we get with this. I'll pause the video while it does it because it does take a minute just to run through. Blah blah blah, yep, click continue and I'll just pause. So that is done. So let's look at the results of using heat map. Now the shoulders and the fingers are notoriously bad when it comes to weighting. You rotate the shoulder and the area under here will collapse. But by using heat map, as you can see, it's restricted the deformation to just around the shoulder area. We've got a much nicer, well, deformation. I can check the uh, elbow again. Yep, these weights aren't perfect and I can just spot the edges, ends of the fingers which look a bit broken, but you're never going to get absolutely perfect weighting. What you're looking for is basically a good head start so there's less cleanup. Look at our bicep twist. That rotates okay. So a lot of this we probably don't need to touch. Apart from the odd tweaks where it maybe pinches too much here and there. Let's just raise that arm back up. As you can see the fingertips have been missed off. So it may be that we just we could maybe adjust the uh, heat map fall off perhaps um, and then redo it and just see what that sort of uh, result that gives us. But let's have a look at the fingers now. Now if you've used uh, smooth skinning before you'll know that if you with a default skinning if I rotate the finger here it's going to affect the finger here which we'll see in a second. But by using heat map that's just given us a nice head start. Yes we have the uh, vertices at the end of the finger here which need adjusting but a little tip if you have areas like this where we know all that is going to be weighted to the front of the finger there what we can do is select those vertices go to our component editor let's just bring that down here if we select smooth skin we can see here are our selected vertices and here are the weights to each joint. So that finger is the index finger. So we don't want any influence on any other fingers so let's just select that, press 1 and let's move that down there. Let's just zero this out here and zero that out there. So that's just weighted that completely to the end of the finger there and we didn't have to mess about painting weights. So that's another option for going in and just fixing those odd stray vertices on the end of the finger. So that's heat map, so let's just uh, undo all that. Blah 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 blah. There we go. So 
if you haven't got this version of Maya, let's just go down the traditional route. Select your joint root, select your skin, go to skin, edit smooth skin, uh, bind skin, smooth bind. Let's just reset those settings. What we're going to do, joint hierarchy, we're going to leave these exactly as they are. Maximum influences, we'll set that to two again. Drop off rate 10. So we're just using the classic linear skinning method. Let's bind the skin. Let's see what the results are by just using that. And here this is the, what we're getting now. This is what you probably normally see when you do your uh, binding. But basically, the shoulder is influencing a lot of the area under here. And if we go back to the fingers, we'll see, well that's actually not, not too bad. That's quite surprising. So that has worked quite well on those fingers.